Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are cleaning a deck. And I get this question asked so many times through our social media feeds. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys a real quick way, a real easy way to clean your deck. It doesn't matter if it's PVC or composite or what kind of material, it could be wood, whatever. Wood's harder to clean than composites and PVC. Uh, this deck happens to be a composite deck and there's a lot of moss and mildew on it. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so basically what you need, the quick and dirty version, you need some 30 seconds cleaner. I also use a product called Clorox Outdoor, but today we're using 30 seconds cleaner. A stiff bristle brush on a handle. This is like a heavy duty deck scrub brush made by a Quickie. And it's tough, it's like a job site rated brush scrubber. We really like this because we, we use this out on the job. We keep this in our job site trailer and we use this to clean basically every deck. And it's handy to have a pump up sprayer. This one's made by Husqvarna. I got it at Home Depot. I bought the 30 seconds cleaner at Home Depot. I think I even bought that scrub brush at Home Depot. And if I didn't buy it at Home Depot, then I probably got it at Lowe's. What you need to do is you drop 50% 30 seconds cleaner and 50% water into your container. Now, we also have a 15 gallon battery operated sprayer, but we don't have it set up yet. So maybe we'll get into that in a little bit. But right now I just have this two gallon hand pumper and that's gonna be fine. You don't have to have a fancy 15 gallon sprayer, but I have, uh, I use it for other things besides spraying decks. I use it to clean the property, spray for weeds, uh, fertilize my grass, all that stuff. And we just hook a car battery to it and it's got an electric pump. So you don't have to sit here and pump every time you wanna shoot some chemicals. It just runs on a battery and you just go to town. So anyway, this $10 or $20 sprayer from Home Depot is just fine. You can even buy a cheapy $10 sprayer and it'll work, I'd say a $30 sprayer. I think this Husqvarna was $30, between 20 and 30 bucks. It's a little higher quality, but remember something, you can't leave the chemical inside the tank. It'll It'll ruin the diaphragm in your pump. It'll soften all those parts and make them brittle and then it won't work next year when you go to pump it up again, okay? So I think I've already pumped this up. But I'll go ahead and, yeah, that's pretty tight. So this should spray pretty good. So I'm just gonna spray 30 seconds. I'm just gonna soak this. I'm gonna do all my lattice. I'm gonna spray all the chemical on there. And then I'm just gonna, even though there's still some stuck on um, pine needles and stuff on all the grooves, doesn't matter. We're just gonna spray this all over the deck. And usually I do this when it's dry, but it's been raining, so that's why the decking's a little bit wet. But what I'll do is I'm only gonna do so many boards so you guys can kind of see the difference it's gonna make. And I'll just go up to where the dry spot is. Now they say 30 seconds, but I think I'd call it more like 10 minute cleaner. I don't think 30 seconds is enough time. So we're gonna leave this on for at least five minutes and let it do its thing. And then we'll come back. This really works good for dog urine as well. We have a few dogs and they, uh, dogs like to pee on stuff, man. It is what it is. So like, for example, see this post right here? I'm sure my dogs have peed on this post, okay? So when I spray this, it's gonna turn really foamy white if they have. If this one doesn't, I have another one that I can show you where I know they go. Okay, that one didn't foam up. Hmm. Let's go over here. Okay, there's the evidence. You can see how mossy it is, except there's like this really clean spot. I wonder why. Well, let's see what happens when you spray this. <laughs> and you can totally see why it foams up. So the dogs are still gonna go and pee on that post, but I just wanna kill that urine and all the moss and mildew. So we're just gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything to this post during this entire video. And we'll see what happens to that if any of this moss just dissolves and, and goes away or if we struggle enough to pressure wash. Cause usually what I do, Come back over here. So once you spray your chemical, you let it sit for a little bit and then you scrub it and agitate it. And that's what's gonna help loosen up all of the moss, mildew, 
algae, sap. It might work on some sap, but I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna take sap off, I don't know, okay? You can kind of see these, this section of the deck is starting to lighten up already before I even scrub it. So it works pretty good for that. Let's read the label and see what this contains. I know there's sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach basically in it. So don't get it on your clothes. Don't put on your fine block lotters and then spray yourself because it'll turn white. Sodium hypochlorite. <laughs> bleach, 5%, that's it. Okay, proprietary ingredients. I wonder what those are. Inert ingredients, which is probably H2O and some water, and maybe some liquid hydrogen with two parts oxygen. So there's two and a half gallons of this stuff, and I paid 22 bucks for two and a half gallons of this product. The Clorox Outdoor was about $8 a gallon, so this averaged out to be about $9 a gallon. The Clorox Outdoor was eight bucks a gallon, but I wanted the convenience of a two and a half gallon container. I thought that was kind of cool instead of grabbing singles of uh, one gallon and they didn't have enough so i bought a few of these to do this entire deck that's what's in it rinse with a garden hose is what it says but because we have so much pine needles and debris and everything in between our deck boards we're going to use a pressure washer and clean all of that crap out of the deck so that it's healthier for the joists and that's the first place that rots on a deck is where all the pine needles and all that stuff gets caught and then it just festers even on pressure treated lumber and eventually it'll rot it away. I think that this section of the deck, if you look at it, the only place that it's really heavy moss is still is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly spray this again and then I'm gonna scrub this out. And then we won't even use the pressure washer. We'll just go ahead and rinse it off and we'll see what we got. Nope. So, it's looking pretty good. Let's rinse it off. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We've scrubbed it, we've sprayed it. Now I'm gonna rinse it, okay? So I use a, a um, like a brass nozzle or a high powered nozzle on the end of a garden hose. So it gives a pretty good spray. This is where the pressure washer comes in pretty handy because, you know, to sit here and try to get all the pine needles out of all the cracks of all the boards is, is time consuming. And a pressure washer makes pretty quick work out of it. All right. You can see in 10 minutes how clean the deck became without a pressure washer, all right, from going from this to this with just regular standard water pressure on your hose and a little bit of elbow grease and some 30 seconds cleaner uh, really clean the deck up nice so that's what we're going to do for the rest of this deck is actually do the same concept except we're going to use a high powered pressure washer as well to really clean the deck nice but you got to kill the mold or the fungus or the moss spore uh, if you don't kill it the moss is just going to grow back faster and your pressure washer will actually push the microorganisms further into the surface layer of the product and then it just spores quicker and comes back and that's what happened last time when we cleaned this deck we didn't use any uh, neutralizer on it or any sodium hypochlorite or 30 seconds cleaner and the moss came back too fast so now this time i should be able to clean this deck now it's it's almost spring i think spring is next week I should be able to enjoy this deck all summer now without having any problems of the moss growing back. So thanks for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned a little something. And if you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Please hit that bell icon to be notified when we are putting out new content, which right now is three days a week. And also, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and we'll hit you back as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.